you're not a day over 21. As a matter of fact, you're probably like 16 to 19 Stupid. years old. You latch on to this wrestler because you know that this is your generation's John Cena or Stone Cold Steve Austin or even Hulk Hogan for that matter. I mean, this guy literally revived WWE and you can't help but bandwagon because of it. You're probably like a blonde white kid that likes to act really tough and has like three brothers. You're also probably interested in amateur wrestling and you might be on a hockey team as well. And you have the look of a stereotypical American movie bully. You are a fashion fanatic. Instagram is your favorite app and Shein is your second favorite. You're the type of person that will buy clothes, wear them for like a week, and then think, I need more clothes. You try your best to look clean while barely even spending a penny. And best believe you have a ton of fake jewelry too. A lot of you John Cena fans are around the same age range as the Roman Reigns fans, which is around 15 to 21. Cause here's the thing, Roman Reigns appeals to you as a teenager, but John Cena appealed to you as a kid. And guess what? You grew up along with John oh, Cena as well. But some of you also watch wrestling on and off because you like to claim that all the good wrestlers left. Which I mean, come on man, that's a little disingenuous. <laughs> The same exact thing I said about John Cena fans can be said about you guys as well. But a lot of you guys like Rey Mysterio because you might be a bit small yourself or see yourself as the underdog. But what really drew you in at first glance was just all the cool and colorful masks that he wore. You are not the main character, bro. And you've most definitely been watching way too much anime. And don't get me wrong, it's pretty much impossible to dislike Cody Rhodes. But you've got to see that he's getting at least some special treatment. I mean, this man is literally receiving fireworks every time he enters the ring on a pay-per-view. Y'all are probably some of the most cool individuals do? I've ever met. I mean, you're the type of person to still laugh at a yo mama joke. Oh, and by the way, that thing that Randy does when he throws up his arms during his entrance, none of y'all do it right. Stop trying it, bruh. Most of y'all are super passionate about NXT, and you're either one of two people. You either think that NXT is still relevant and still deserves to be given a chance, or you think that there's absolutely nothing that would come close to the original black and gold brand, and anyone who says otherwise is not a real WWE fan. You are deep in professional wrestling. And I'm not just talking about WWE, but you dive into some AEW and you dabble into some Ring of Honor and even New Japan. I mean, you are a nerd, man. You spend like 12 hours a week watching wrestling. I would even go as far as saying that some of you guys are marks. Time to play the game. You love you some classic rock bands. You can't go wrong with your Beatles or your Guns N' Roses or Metallica. And a lot of people will consider you a stereotypical greaser. You are salty. You know this man does not have that much time left in his WWE career, and you fully believe that Kofi Mania did not last that long and was ended very abruptly. You're also salty about the fact that this man never won a Royal Rumble, even though he has been the highlight of every single Royal Rumble for the past eight years. <laughs> You are packed with energy and you just love the idea of just raging and yelling as loud as you possibly can. You're constantly trying out new ways to increase your testosterone and your TikTok for you page is probably filled with a bunch of gym edits that you saved to hype yourself up. I'm just a sexy boy. You guys are just like Cody Rhodes fans in the sense that you guys think that you're the main character. Except you guys tend to bite off a lot more than you could chew, which tends to lead to your downfall. You're the type of person that will load up a hard game, skip the tutorial, and then wonder why you keep losing over and over. I mean, sure, you probably do have a little bit of spunk in you, but you've had way too many people hype you up and it's gotten in your head way too much. Well, I reckon that you the biggest piece of trailer park trash to ever exist on planet Earth. You nothing more than a gunslinger redneck that chills on his porch all day with a shotgun and yells at his wife to give me a beer. You are a believer in miracles. You stand by the model that anything is possible, and I respect you for it. Everything that you do in life is filled with drive and passion, and you might even see yourself being a motivational speaker. But sometimes, you just gotta learn to give it a rest, man. You have been practicing the one eyebrow thing forever now. I mean, you would literally go up to your bathroom mirror and you would hold one of your eyebrows down with your hand and then try to raise both of your eyebrows to see if you could try to raise one. You also probably get mad when other WWE wrestlers try to go to Hollywood because you think The Rock is really the only one that can pull it off. And honestly, I can't really say you're wrong. 
you were genuinely scared of this man when you were a kid. Like, you thought that there was no way that this man would ever be beaten in any match. Because he could just teleport whenever he wanted to and turn the whole place dark. But as you got older, the man shaved his head, and it all went downhill from there. Now, if Undertaker scared you when you were a kid, you were terrified of this man. There was something different about this man. I don't know if it's because of the mask or the fire that goes up whenever he comes in the ring. Or maybe it's just the fact that he comes into the ring ten times quicker than the Undertaker. I'm here to show the world. You guys are just like Kofi fans in the sense that you think that this man was highly underused, super underrated, and had a ton of wasted potential. You're on the same boat as a lot of people who think that Triple H managing the WWE was the best move for the WWE. But back when Vince was there, you were infuriated. Like, you thought this man had no idea what he was doing and agreed with some parts of CM Punk's pipe bomb. I am a real Let me tell you something here, brother. If Hulk Hogan is your favorite wrestler, then you must be a very forgiving brother, brother. That, or you just don't know about the comments, brother. But either way, Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant was your favorite moment of all of WWE history, brother. I mean, you just had that moment on repeat, brother. Here, let's go ahead and watch it again. Wow, that was better than the last time, brother. How about we watch it one more time? And again, brother. And again. <laughs>